Dana, the excitement here in Seattle is unreal for this card here. Lightweight title fight, two fights where you have a, a potential torch passing between Shogun and, and uh, Gustafson and, and BJ Penn and Rory McDonald. I mean, talk about this card. It's unbelievable. It's an awesome card, and I'm just thrilled that the thing stayed together. Nobody got hurt, and uh, I, I agree. I, and I think, you know, first fight of the night is, uh, you know, Swick and... Uh, Brown. Yeah, Matt Brown. And you know that's going to be fireworks. And then the second fight of the night, I mean, BJ Penn and Roy McDonald, people are so fired up. They're fired up for this fight. I mean, they were going at each other today at the press conference, and uh, I'm just really excited to see what happens in that fight. Gustafson and, and Shogun is a beautiful fight because you have a guy that was once the, the UFC light heavyweight champion in the world against a guy that's up and coming who's going to try and stall, bypass, and try and get close to John Jones. I mean, this is an exceptional fight. It's the co-main event, but of course in Canada they're thinking Rory and BJ should have been the co-main event. Did, did you ever look at this and say, we got to flip these fights? No, there's no way. Um, you know, this this is the fight. This is going to be the this gonna be a big fight for Rory McDonald. He's going to prove, you know, if he walks through BJ Penn, because BJ is motivated, he's in great shape, and mentally, he's in the right place. This is this is uh, this is a big fight for him. But the, but the Shogun is a war machine, man. Shogun has been beating everybody uh, in, in these sick fights, and and I think that you know the winner of this fight gets a title shot. You know, BJ and Rory aren't in a in a position to where the winner of this fight goes for the title. Um, so no, th this deserves to be the co-main event. My days of picking against any Diaz brother brother is long gone. I mean, every time you try and pick against Nate Diaz, he destroys opponents. The same thing with Nick, but this is a tough fight in Ben Henderson, the best 155-pound fighter in the world. I've, I've narrowed it down as best I can to the leg kicks and the wrestling, but anything can happen. How do you see this fight potentially unfolding? You're absolutely right. I mean, every time, look at Nate Diaz's last few fights. He's looked phenomenal. He looks better every time he comes out. I didn't think he was going to be Donald Cerrone, and he destroyed Donald Cerrone. Um, you can never count Nate Diaz out. He, he just keeps getting better and better and better and and, and the, the the style of the uh, Diaz brothers is just so tough to deal with but I do agree with you if Ben Henderson has a game plan that game plan would have to be leg kicks because you saw in the Cerrone fight that uh, Nate took a lot of damage to the legs one final question, C Canadian related, obviously. Um, anything happening uh, in, with the March show? Apparently, it was supposed to be the Bell Center. It was app apparently taken off the table. Is, is an event going to happen in Montreal? And, and of course, I took a lot of heat about George St. Pierre. I said he could potentially one day fight Nick Diaz ahead of Silva, uh, ahead of Johnny Hendricks. That's a call that you make. Any updates on Canadian shows and on George St. Pierre? Yeah, we, you know, we want to go back to the Bell Center. We'll see how this whole thing plays out. We're still working on our schedule um, for next year. And after George St. Pierre, took some time off he came back to us and said I have unfinished business with Nick Diaz and that's the fight that I want